Tennessee. As far as making the college football playoff in uh, 2023, we have some feedback from a pro football focus who I think does as good of a job of breaking down football as anybody. They have Tennessee as one of the top 15 teams that could make the college football playoff in 2023. So we'll get to today's tough question here momentarily. But first, uh, what do you make of pro football focus saying that Tennessee is one of 15 teams that could make the college football playoff in 2023? That's elite company, but some people will say that that's maybe a little bit uh, too low in terms of being just in the top 15. What do you make of it initially? What, do you, what What is your take, Caleb Calhoun? I don't think it's too low because, it, yeah, it's it's they're what they're doing is they're looking at all the teams that could make the playoff this year. And my take on it really stands out because of what they wrote about Tennessee. Because as you and I both know, you're right, pro football focus is much more analytical. They're much more data-driven. You shouldn't rely on them for judging things because there are flaws in their analytics, as there are flaws in any analytical method to to determine football, quite honestly. Like, none of them are perfect. But one of the things that they're one of the first ones saying what me and you have said is possible, which is they're saying that Tennessee could actually be better than last year if you break down the recruiting, if you break down the transfers, if you break down who you know is back, then there's a there's an underrated chance Tennessee actually has a better team this year than last year. And I think that's kind of what stands out. And, you know, with guys like Brew McCoy and Oregon transfer Dante Thornton, they're talking about, yes, you lose receivers, but you return a lot of great guys. We're going to have Josh Ward on the show later to talk about the Vols winning postseason awards. And he mentioned, hey, last year Jalen Hyatt wasn't the favorite to be the best receiver at Tennessee. So in Josh Heupel's system, these stars are coming out of nowhere in reality. And so – I think PFF recognizes that more than most. And they have Tennessee as one of four SEC teams that could make the college football playoff. The other three being the three obbies, Alabama, Georgia, LSU. So, I mean, that's not bad company. It's not. Okay. So let me ask you today's tough question. Is that too high or too low? Is that praise or shade that they're in the, uh, among 15 teams that could make the college football playoff in 2023. Praise or shade, should they be a little bit higher? Caleb Calhoun, what say you? Well, I mean, I guess if – I don't I don't want to say they're lower because we don't know if PFF had done just 10 if Tennessee would have been in that or not. So maybe, I guess, is this too many teams that are competing? But I would say no. I think it's just right because, again, they're not ranking these teams. It's just the 15. And I think it's fair to say that – you have about a collection of about 15 teams that could make the CFP any given year. So I, I, I don't know how you think about that. I think, I think you're right at about 15, you know, like in the NBA, there's any NBA year, there's four teams that can win it. There's never more than four that have a realistic shot at winning into the finals in the NBA. And whereas in baseball and the NFL, it could be anybody, but NBA is never more than four college football, never more than 15. Yeah, and I think the number's probably a little bit lower in teams that could win it. I think it's more along the lines of 10. So I, I'm going to say that just making the top 15, maybe not, it, maybe it's not shade, but it's nothing that you should brag about because I think Tennessee is in the position of being a top 10 to 12 team. So it might not be shade, but I don't know that it's massive praise. Um, it, it is it is a football team in, in Tennessee – that has to answer a question at quarterback. So that's always going to knock you a little bit down in an analyst list that has lost a significant number of guys to the NFL. But I, I will say this. I think that uh, Tennessee, in, in my humble opinion, is a top 12 type of team to make the college football playoff. And if, if you don't have them in that level, then I would be surprised. So top 10 to 12, top 15 is fine. Uh, go it through, if you can, the other teams that are in the SEC that could end up uh, making the college football playoff, according to uh, Pro Football Focus. And it's brought to you by Zen Sports, the new sports book in Tennessee, revolutionizing the way you earn betting rewards. That means no more deposit bonuses that turn into deposit nightmares on Zen Sports. What you see is what you get in their cash rewards program. You get a lot of cash for a welcome bonus. Earn an unlimited 5% cash back on your betting volume for your first 15 days when you sign up with the promo code HOOKED. That's right, HOOKED, H-O-O-K-E-D, unlimited. 
5% cash back when you use that. Keep betting, keep earning with up to 3% cash back on your betting volume every month after that and refer friends to earn a percentage of their betting volume as cash rewards too. Zen Sports is bringing the cash back to Tennessee. So if you bet big on sports, you want to be betting on Zen Sports. Zen Sports betting just got better. The other teams from the SEC that are thought to be college football playoff participants according to pro football focus are they are and if tennessee is going to be in the top 10 to 12 like you said they won't supplant any of these teams because they are alabama georgia and lsu again no no surprise to anybody else that though that those three would be in there i think it stands out and it's good respect that tennessee is in there with them given that tennessee has more questions than the other three right now and i know everybody's gonna be like oh well tennessee beat lsu 40 to 13 last year in death valley and, but dave you and i know that was a 11 a.m kickoff for lsu and the game it was before they had really hit their stride and the game got out of hand way early because of a bunch of crazy things that happened so i, I don't think but if they play I just, in- love it when, I just love it when you go your crazy british voice well that's that's when i'm saving that for when people have sanctimonious thoughts okay that's like I, this isn't a sanctimonious Good word thought, okay yes i i hate uh, sorry the first college football syllable word of the day hey now <laughs> apologies to college football fans but some of y'all are really dumb and sanctimonious about your teams when you think your team doesn't cheat and when you think your team has integrity and when you think your coach cares about his player development and when you think your players are just the most decent kind-hearted spiritual people in the world yeah, y'all are dumb when you think that. <laughs> I think there's a lot of truth to that. I do think Tennessee's in a unique position where this is a destination job for for Josh Heupel. Um, and I do think, and I'm not just saying this, uh, that, that there's a, a lot of positive vibes around Tennessee because I, I think that Josh Dragon Heupel... Dragon energy. <laughs> yeah, Josh Heupel either genuinely loves his players and I believe he does at this point, or that's the best recruiting sales pitch of all time because it's uh, starting uh, to take note or is it take effect. Um, And I think that um, you're right though. A lot of 90% of the college football coaches would up and bolt. We talked about Shiano recently, how he uh, left his uh, entire staff to go recruit by themselves. We've seen what Lane Kiffin has done. I think Tennessee's in a unique Uh, position in terms of that so uh, Tennessee one of the 15 teams that could make the college football playoff in 2023 I'll say that that's fair 